how do you know what to do and when to do it? So here we have tangent of theta times cosine of theta. And our general idea, our de general thing that I'm going to ask you guys to do is to simplify. So let's kind of think about what we have done when we've been asked to simplify in the past. right? If there's been any kind of words like do this, do this, and then simplify, think about what we did. We either combined, right, like added things together or multiplied things together, right? We combined things, or we divided things out. Like for instance, simplifying, you know, two over four, like you can divide common terms out by applying the division property. So you're either combining things or dividing things out when you're simplifying. So obviously, right now there's really not much we can do here with tangent and cosine, right? However, I can look at my current identities and realize, well, I can manipulate these by using identities to see if there's anything that's going to happen. So let's just go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the framework of all the different identities we could try here to see if anything helps us either combine them, like to get them down to one function, or to divide things out so we have like one function or one number. So let's just convert tangent to cotangent. Wouldn't you guys agree that tangent of theta is the same thing as 1 over cotangent of theta based on the reciprocal identity? right? So if I just did that there, however, that doesn't really help me simplify anything, right? at least how it's written there. Do you guys agree? It doesn't make anything easier or simpler. So let's try. Why don't we convert uh, the cosine then? Why don't we keep tangent? Why don't we keep tangent of theta, but change cosine to 1 over secant? Does that help us out at all? No. OK, well, why don't we change both of them, see if that does anything? And I'm s some of you might already be starting to look ahead and realize that's not going to do anything at all either. Right? So again, by multiplying these, I'm still not getting anywhere. So maybe the reciprocal identities is not the per best identities for this problem. Maybe we should look at the um, maybe we should look at the quotient identities, or at least for tangent. So I go over to tangent and I say, well, what if I did sine of theta over cosine of theta? And oh, now you guys can see that I have a cosine in the denominator, cosine in the numerator. That represents simplified. That gives me a sine of theta, right? So by using a specific identity, I can see that I can simplify this. Now, there's nothing mathematically wrong with what you did up here. You're still these still simplify into sine. The the idea that I'm trying to bring to you is you we have to start thinking ahead and thinking about trying to I trying to get um, using or trying to choose identities that typically we can apply the division property. And I will say that more often than not, it's usually helpful to be able to convert things to sines and cosines when applying the division property. Do you see how all of three of these, or out of four of these, the only one that kept everything in terms of sines and cosines was number four? right? So it's not always the case, but a lot of the time, writing things in terms of sines and cosines will allow you to see allow you to combine terms or allow you to apply the division property. Yes? Can you just have tangents with like x and y if you do that way? So there's nothing wrong with x and y. Like if basically x and y is a variable um, manipulation to do this, right? Because sine is y, cosine is x, and cosine is x, right? So it's the same thing. Right? But the problem is, I wouldn't want you to use this. So if you want to do your work in terms of x and y's, that's the same thing as converting things to sines and cosines. Same thing. It's just you're using different variables. There's nothing wrong with you doing your work that way. Um, I don't want you to use that as a justification for your answer, because you're inserting new variables that have no context to our problem. Right? I know what you're bringing, those x and y's. That's from last chapter. right? But um, yeah, don't use it.